More Pokemon tell. I don't know. I tried so hard to think of like somebody's name. That sounds like Mon something. Poke Raymond or something. You know, Pokemon. Hmm. I don't know. I, it, nothing came to me. Anyway, it's time to return. 
Erica and Koga have been the two dastardly beasts. Two devilish bastards. The, uh, the, the lion and the lamb. Except they're two lions, and I'm one lamb. They, uh, they're, they're both Tom and Jerry working together. Yeah. Try and figure out who's Tom and who's Jerry. Honestly, honestly, I don't care about the Erica side of this, because that, like, either way, it's funny. But Koga... <laughs> Koga has a, just a massive Tom. And he looks like he's gotten beaten up. He's got, like, you know, frizzled gray hair everywhere. Alright, well, let's jump back into this. Back into the Pokemon experience. Hopefully, uh, the music department sounds pretty good today. I'm trying, I'm trying, but, uh, you know, who knows? I gotta toss it up sometimes, too. So. I burp, I poop, I fart, I pee, I drink, I eat. All of it happens on stream. I'm empty, I'm full, whatever it is. I, I'm like, I'm, I'm synthesized, let's go. We've done like everything that the body needs. Every every last faculty. It's done. This is called bending time. Never checked this out. Apparently this has very few views. Dude, Ash, he's catching, man. He's gonna go get a Pokemon ball. He's gonna have a Pokemon ball. He's gonna throw a Pokemon ball. For whatever reason. <laughs> Sounds good. Oh, I mean, like, uh, hopefully the choice of music is good. Cause holy fuck. Acid girl! Acid girl! Acid girl! Every, every, like, five minutes. Man, like, I... If you wanna take a genre by force, just, like, make your own music and then name everything in a genre after it. Holy fuck. I'm so confused looking at that. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> the way I said that, too. That sounded even funnier. I'm so confused looking at that. Uh, mm, mm, uh, uh. I sound like, uh, I'm from the South. And I just, I, like, I just discovered power. I have a phone line. Uh, uh, I just sawed up a piece of wood. This is funnier to me because I was born in the South, but whatever. I just sawed up a piece of wood there, and I laid it down, uh, dug up a hole. Now I laid up the cable on it. Okay. Ass is ketchup. Yeah, let's see how much money I have. 55k, okay. Well, as confirmed, we did some very good progress. We got three level 50s, potentially. Wait, wait, what? Did I? Okay, I, I remember why. I'm like, hold on. Why, where's the other level 50? In the PC. What the fuck happened to the PC? I just threw everything around. My god, what a mess. What a mess. You see this utter mess in here? I think Sword can go in the box for now. I'm not worried about Sword. Sounds like something you'd hear in one of those animation memes, this music fucks. This guy's got two projector screens up and he's got like cool gifs running on him. He's drinking a beer while he's mixing. You have to be 18 plus, uh, you have to be 21 plus to consume this audio. This guy was drunk while he was doing this. Okay, yeah, I think the only viable option is like the weird thing. Which, I don't even know I want this. Ho uh oh plus Kyogre. This thing, I just come back to. This could evolve and I, like, figure it out. I don't know. It seems Abyss is the way to go, but I don't think this is really preferable. I already have, what, two water types? <laughs> My team is already full of fucking dragons. Like, wait. <laughs> how many, how many dragons do I have? One. Two. Uh, technically, technically. This may as well be one because it's like two power types. Well, okay, hold on. This is a dragon. Two. Three. Okay, it's a three dragon. Viking. 
To be fair, Aerodactyl is a dragon, but you know what? Its type scheme doesn't show up like that. Fuck. Yeah, so, I, uh, as demonstrated, before I so rudely interrupted myself with my previous version of myself, grinding over here has proven very fruitful. Hmm. I don't know if I really want Kingdra on Dragonair, though. Or Kingdra plus Dragonite, whatever. Three level 50s. I'm like looking, I'm moving my head around to look at, at this. That's big numbers. I think I was, I was talking about like finding a new trainer. I think I might as well just go back to this lady. I don't think it's really a problem. I'd just rather be prepared anyway. Let's see if Ryu can handle Dust Zone. Ryu seemed pretty proper and powerful here. Crack and cool. Oh. It confuses. So what do I stack? Bru that's right, that's right. Ryu is just good at tanking the moves. Dust Zone deals out. Oh, fuck. Lamau! Lamau, dude! Fucking Lamau! Dragon Claw, it hits itself. Oh god, please, survive. Ryu wheel kill, hopefully. Well, he's gotta switch out. I don't know if he can even do any damage there. So will Flash Cannon utterly destroy magic? Both these Pokemon are our weakest right now. If we're counting the team of five logic, does this hurt bad? Oh, oh, tanked hard. Let's fucking go, dude. But so magic has a dark type move. Okay, that's right. We have bite. This might actually be the preferable way to do this. I'm gonna run back to the Pokemon Center real quick, and I'm gonna go ahead heal up, and we just do switch out training over and over and over again. I think. And then that's fucking five level fifties. I mean, at this stage. Right, by the time I got even just into, no, not even, I was going to say by the time I got into the sewer level and fought the rockets, but no, that ain't true. By the time I tried to do that and then went back over to Lavender, or, no, I think that's exactly what happened the first time I went to Lavender anyway. Regardless, like, if... <laughs> Uh, every time that I've gone to Lavender even, let alone into the basement, I think I've been much, much lower level than this, right? The only thing that's been stronger is like probably one Pokemon at a time. Okay, Curse hurts, but also... Let me out. Let me out, dude. <laughs> it flinched. So I just, I bite again and it's gone. Curse doesn't proc, it's gone. Oh my god. That's powerful. That's incredibly powerful. You, which one of you Pokemons wants a soda pop? That's a Ramune. That's a bottle of Ramune. What the fuck? For context, if you don't know. Because I, I feel like somebody out there just does, they're like, ramen? No. You'd find this anywhere, but this is like the actual shit right here. What though? Why is it why is the model a Ramune bottle? Hold on. This is what it is. Carbonated soft drink by Kimura. Original flavor. <laughs> and it, well, it has like a, a glass ball in it. That's supposed to help with like the flavor of the carbonation or like decanting it to your mouth. I don't know. I'm keeping that. <laughs> no nobody gets that yet. 328 fresh waters, yeah. Yeah, I'm back with another fresh water. Help me, help! Fresh water scalping. I, that, you know what? You, you're right, man. I I only have 327. I mean, I might need to double that number. I only have, like, you know, th two pearls. It's just sold cheaply to shops. I mean, I have like crazy items that psychos want, right? I, 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 
Only a maniac will buy this. Isn't it gooey mulch? <laughs> I just gotta wait until I find a maniac and then I can buy out the world supply of the water economy. We will water it up. If anything, Ryu shouldn't even be double training here. It, it, <laughs> like, man, you are the weakest party member here, huh? Wait, I'm a fucking idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. Of course it is. Because I meant to take this Dratini. It's mine now. Ow. Ow. Metal Gear Solid sound effect. You picked up an item or something. You, a foe dropped an item. Okay. Remember, Electro Ball is Math Ball. Okay. I, th I think I dare go buy more fresh waters if I can help it, but I have so many, I can just up that number at any point. Holy fuck, do I dare do that? Dragonair plus Garchomp? I didn't even really conceive of that until now. Maybe I mentioned it before, but... Double double dragon, dude! We're gonna double the double dragon? Okay, I'm gonna try and do this real quick. What is the name of this? Because we'll just rename whatever the other thing is. Ryu and Abyss. Well, we'll make Ryu kill. I mean, Ryu literally translates to the word dragon. So, uh, yeah, just, just that's right. Didn't I try this? Just send the other one to the Abyss. Just send the other weird creation to the abyss. Gabite plus Dragonair. These are two medium level evolutions. Med levels. What the? No, I didn't try this, and this is unique as fuck. Hold on, though. What? Gabite is level 31. Holy shit. <laughs> he has a whole lake in his pocket. Yeah, screw rocket in your pocket. I got a reservoir in there. What the? That's actually kind of cool. Ganair. The name's kind of silly. Yeah, he has Dragonair, you know. Dragon Cave Pokemon. It's 8 foot 10. But it weighs 80 pounds. It's just all dragon type. It's all dragon type, baby. There's a long-held belief that medicine made from its scales will heal even incurable diseases it's said to alter the weather around it by loosing energy. That's incredible, I don't care. Plus speed. It's already fast by being 80 pounds. I don't know though, this might actually be worth a takedown. I read Ganair is fucking gamer. I'm going insane. He just got the Gamer Pokemon. Gamer has been unlocked. Gamer has been unlocked. Well, that's Ryu. I don't know if I'll keep this, but it looks promising. It's just more grinding. What is Abyss, then? Get over here. Get over here. Lapras plus Horsey. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I like this. Oh! It's like a shiny Lapras, but it, it, we made it wrong by putting horsey into it. We spliced the shiny horsey genes into the Lapras. We hated what we did. I get rid of the actual good move. <laughs> <laughs> it has parasaurus! <laughs> kill me. Kill me. Ah, uh, please kill me. Kill me. Ah, uh, you need to kill me. The Pokemon wants to die so bad. Found it Celadon Condominiums, yeah. Uh, I'm looking at the IVs there, it's not that good. IV plus EV, I don't even know what that is. I don't even know who you are. Yeah, good enough. To the eternal grind, then. 
maybe, maybe it's her fur. Maybe magic can learn a stronger dark type move. Maybe Ryu can learn a dark type move in general. I don't know. All right, let's make a move on. Let's go, let's make a move on. So once I'm all of 50s except one Pokemon, I think at that point I just go do the rockets. Take care of the rockets. Cause that ain't no problem at that point, holy moly. Yeah, Psychic ain't gonna do shit, right? Ice Beam? I mean, I could freeze it. Last night, I had the sudden urge to play this VR game, but I didn't because so tired. Now I don't even want to play it. That sucks. It's an awful feeling. Maybe you'll return to it one day and you'll be like, holy shit, I actually bought this? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm playing this. Oh yeah. Me with Elden Ring, except it was like I bought it and I'm like, I fucking hate this. And then I'm like, okay, okay, I fucking love this. Legit, magic is gonna stack Ryu in a second, but we'll just do it this way. I'll just keep switching out normally, I think. No other easy way. Switch it in. I love Sweet Goon's Cry. I don't know what it is about it. I don't even know what like onomatopoeia it would be. It's like Tootle and Deep Blue. <laughs> Sweet Goon's out here. So uh, Sweet Goon's Scatman John, I think. Sweet Goon is Scatman. Very fun though. I'm just no mo motivation for anything. I know that feel. I know that feel. Ow. Okay, maybe switch Ryu back in after that. It's a little too risky. It didn't affect its foe. That's why I use Psychic. I Psychic. Yeah, I really badly want to just play Super Hot, even though I just have the demo. I want to stream it, but I'm like, ah. At the same time, I'm like, eh. <laughs> Holy shit, you just reminded me of something? What's that? The power. The infinite power of your Pokemon Screamer. That's what it is. You reminded me. Stop right there. Die, monster. You don't belong in this world. I don't know, if, like, I said stop right there, but I'm thinking of... Symphony of the Night, whenever I go up to this trainer for some reason. Uh, Brian. It does okay damage. If I can chain it twice, then that's good. Holy fuck. The Eternal Reminder. Alright. Ryu can kind of handle itself a little bit. Let's see if just a little lowered HP is doable. Is this viable? Dusk Zone. Dusk Zone again. Somehow Dusk Zone returned. And unbeknownst to everyone, somehow Dusk Zone returned. Ryan actually carries. Okay, and then it curses and gets rid of the rest of its HP. That's great. Okay, Ryu can actually carry against us. I'm not worried about Ryu anymore. Safeguard? No. Good enough, but no. I think I wait until maybe... I don't know. See, I can unfuse once we get to level 50 or whatever. Lapras is not a huge Pokemon. So I'm curious if I really want to grind again. I might just keep this as it is. Like, uh, Lapras plus Garchomp might just have to be the thing. Go bite. Girl, take a bite out of that. It keeps hitting itself. It curses. Well, ow. Oh. There we go. 
in fucking Ultra Kill, there's a style meter thing that's fucking, quote, plus strong bongle, unquote. That just sounds like some shit you were talking about the other day. Spungle Grong. That just, I don't know. You know, Hakita? <laughs> I just, I love his, his uh, Twitter username right now. Public Hakita images could me. Potentially, possibly, maybe he should be out there, he says to himself. He like whispers to himself live on Twitter. Maybe you would be a better CEO of your game company if you were on X.com. <laughs> I feel like he's just so far into the memes. He knows how to exploit hilarity immediately. Okay, well, it's... It <laughs> uses its red card. I was gonna try and switch anyway. My pressure. It confuses. Public Hakita is a good idea. <laughs> you just see like his face of unlimited torture and torment. The one where he slays everything in existence as a god. And then remakes it. From the seed matrix. Public Hakita is a good idea. <laughs> So, what's, what's Hakido doing? What's Hakido doing? Ah, yes. I forget what Hakita's Twitter actually is. You just died. The last save picture is what now? Oh, Hakita death. Is what killed you. Okay, get your pictures ready. Let's see. Uh, literally six minutes ago. <laughs> he, he posted the Hikita Fumo, not Jakito. Not Hakito. Vibing with two albums by Hoplites, a Chinese one man black metal band with all lyrics in ancient Greek. Both non stop maelstroms of furious intensity, no breaks or moments of clarity. Just an unending whirlwind of riffs and blast beats. Great year for black metal. That's amazing. That sounds so fucking legendary. I I appreciate so much that Hakita can appreciate like ceaseless pain metal. Cause that shit's fucking flame. You like go full sprinting down the sidewalk while blasting that in your Fumo earbuds and you're doing good. <laughs> Style meter. Thing that's called plus spring dong gloated. Hey, what's up, Neon Man? Copied from Wiki because I'm not typing all that. It's actually called that. I thought you were just typing spam in the chat. Joner, I was playing Cruelty Squad and literally the username Cruelty Squad popped into the chat and just posted an emote. Like, a chat member came in while I was playing the game and said, Hey, have you seen the Cruelty Squad guy? No. What are you talking about? You mean, like, the character in the game? No, I haven't met the dev. I'd love to, like, talk to the dev. And then, oh, yeah, it's just an account that's named after the game that pops in and posts an emote. So what, I, <laughs> what do I do? But I say, I'm going to VIP Cruelty Squad. And then they show up and I VIP them. It's actually fucking called that. Plus screen dong loaded. <laughs> it almost sounds like spring dong loaded. Okay. I hope you all are enjoying so far. Uh, always glad to see some new homies pop into the chat. We're just grinding right now. I'm trying to get all level 50s except for one Pokemon pretty much. Because, I don't know, I'm probably going to catch something that's like level 30 that I'll actually want to train. But for right now, Dragonair is one of my favorites. I'm going to have to do that. I'm going to have to do that. It's going to be like all generation 5 and before. I'll have to do like a tier list of Pokemon. And you will truly see that I actually am like fucking insane and I have so many favorite Pokemon. Like, yes. Typhlosion is like all the way up there in like triple S tier or whatever. But then like you go down just one tier or even two tiers 
A tier below that is like fucking 500 Pokemon. So like, we're question marking B tier on favorites. Like, huh? You really like, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna do my own Pokemon fusion randomizer. I hope you have fun. I'm doing Nuzlocke just because I love Nuzlocke. Guy named Cruelty Squad posts an emote, refuses to elaborate, leaves. Favorite shiny? Like, favorite shiny I've obtained, or just favorite shiny in general? Um... I could tell you the inverse. For sure, immediately. I love Darkrai, and it was so disappointing to see shiny Darkrai. I mean, I had an action replay, so I saw it pretty quick. It's like, dude, it looks, it looks way less cool. In general. Ah, oh, hell nah, Brody got string dongles. <laughs> Scring, scring dongled. I couldn't even pronounce the D there. I just said scring dongles. Huh. Favorite shiny in general. Um. That's hard to pick. Let's see. I mean, everybody likes the red Gyarados, right? But that's, that's kind of just a default. I seem to remember, is it Zerua and Zora Arc? have like a darker appearance. Um, I think it's like Generation 4 though is my favorite. I love Arceus or Arceus, whatever. So naturally the golden god Arceus, as opposed to just like the normal version. I love that. I don't feel like that really counts though, because there's so many versions of that shiny form. Let me see, let me see. Golden... Shiny Arceus. I don't know though, I don't think... Yeah, there it is. It's uh, Arceus with like Dark Plate, I think. It looks fucking insane. Shiny Arceus with Dark Plate. Um, hmm. I'm a, I was a huge fan of Charizard when I was younger. I really, really like Shiny Charizard. And now that we have Shiny Mega Charizard, that's pretty fucking wild. That's damn cool. Um, isn't Hunter like just a different color? Like it's blue. Yeah. I really like Ghost type Pokemon. I think with like my favorite Chinese. Uh, is it Mistrevis? Or I'm sorry, Ms. Magius. Isn't Shiny Ms. Magius cool? Yeah, kind of looks like piss colored though. I don't know, it's it's so hard to even pick a shiny favorite. Hmm. Isn't, uh... Isn't shiny Scyther red? No, he's just like a slightly different shade of green. Wow, that feels like BM. Hmm. That's a toughie. Out of all the ones I caught, which are very few, I think it was probably Luxray. Because that just like, that was already a main party Pokemon for me. And then on top of all of that, it was it, like, it's a pretty decent Pokemon, and the shiny version looks great. Any shiny that looks like my favorite colors is usually the best. Yeah, shiny Luxray is fucking crazy. Maybe shiny Pikachu, I know that's really basic, but I remember I got one whenever I was younger, and I was just so excited for the longest time. My favorite shiny is Psyduck or Gabite? Really? I feel like it's rare to find Psyduck fans. What the hell is shiny Gabite like? Yeah, shiny Psyduck is blue. My favorite Pokemon of all time is Cyndaquil Quilava Typhlosion. Oh uh, yeah. Shiny Gabite is just like a cooler dragon. The cooler dragon. Well, you'll love me training Ryu up then, I'm, I'm sure. I tried fusing Ryu into Abyss, see what Dragonair plus Gabite is, but I... I don't want to get to level 50 again as that, that's a problem.
My first shiny is... You saying Cancer or Cancia? I don't understand if that's what you're saying. Shiny Garchomp is the most disappointing shiny ever. I don't actually remember what my very first was. I, I think it was actually in Generation 3, and then years later I got like, you know, random unique shinies in Generation 2 all over again. Um, I seem to remember it was something like... Zigzagoon? Or, no, uh... Not that. Zangoose. I think it was like shiny Zangoose. Like, I guess, like, eh, eh. Cacnea the Cactus Pokemon, oh. Duh. Shiny Garchomp is like hot pink. Mega Shiny Garchomp. Yeah, Mega Garchomp just looks fucking flame. Uh, I'm trying to think, there's like one really good legendary that has a fantastic shiny. Is it Deoxys, or Deoxys looks pretty normal? Hmm. Shiny Cacnea. I don't remember what all of my, like, turny viable Pokemon were that were shiny, but I had very few. So like I said, I had Luxray. I believe I got Absol at one point too, because that was like right around the time I was trying to learn to shiny hunt. And I just so happened to be in the patch of grass that, like, the guide recommended, I think. So I was like, you know, right over where Kecleon is. Or, wait, Kecleon? Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I seem to remember getting Absol, but it's so hard to remember, like, that route. It's stupid as fuck. Generation 3 is just a blur to me. Got it in Emerald. I think as a kid, I was so fascinated by Missing No that that was kind of my shiny for a while. I had Pokemon Yellow first, and I didn't learn about catching Missing No in Yellow until years later. Um, but I got like Red or Blue. I got both of them. I got Red or Blue, one of them, immediately after. I don't think my mom understood. <laughs> What the fuck is this? Cosmo uh, Cosmopolitan Turtle. Oh. Oh, I see. Uh, okay, that's the name of the user. I'm like, that's this Pokemon? They redesigned Cacnea and Cacturn to be like horrifying deer creature Pokemon. Missing, yes. <laughs> Smirk Cat. That emote is fucking hilarious. Uh, I think the thing that would probably make me quit the game would be, like, shiny Dunsparce. That would suck ass. But then again, why would you even be in the cave where Dunsparce spawns to begin with? I guess, I guess that would be horrible, right? I think I've had something like this happen to me, though, before. Um, I'm struggling to remember what it was. But imagine playing Pokemon Generation 2. And you go to get your free shuckle. And that just so happens to be a shiny shuckle. Ouch. Oof, ouch, ouch, my bones. There should be a, you know what, does this exist? I'm just gonna generate a random shiny Pokemon if this exists. Random Pokemon generator. Shiny hunting Pokemon generator, there you go. Dude, what? You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. I talk about one of my few shinies I've ever caught was Luxio into Luxray. There it is. I didn't even click the randomize button. That's just what I got immediately. There it is. What the hell? That's fucking crazy. Now, how in the world does that happen? I don't know if I ever... Maybe I'll, like, try shiny hunting on stream? I don't know if I'm, like, really that good at it, if anything. You gotta do 8,096 steps, or 8,192 steps, or whatever. <laughs> not even. That's the chance it shows up. That's not even steps. Got my four starters, Volcarona, Ursaring... 
Chandler and something that starts in Eco and Torterra Sunfloor. What Pokemon ends in Eco? Trico? <laughs> I, I, I don't know, I'm confused. Eco. Chimeco? I, I used to say Chimitro when I was a kid, and I played Generation 3. Then I saw one of the Generation 3 movies, and they featured Chimeco. Or maybe it was like the teaser for Chimeco in an earlier Generation movie or something. They said, go Chimeco! I'm like, huh? No, wait, that makes perfect sense. My whole world makes no sense. No! Not as impressive as your fucking insane blackjack luck. Yeah, 1 in 13,000 chance. All four aces and I still win. The odds were actually further astronomical. What are the chances you get four aces and still win? Because, I mean, yes. It depends on dealer rules, but this dealer would just give up on drawing if he had 21 or 20. So, hmm, 21. God, I love blackjack. I used to just chill with my friends. We would like share drinks and we would sit at a literal card table and play blackjack for like, not real stakes, but we did have chips, you know? So we'd have something to put up on the table. No, not like potato chips, real like casino chips. Every time, dude, I'm sitting there. I'm like, I am plastered. And yet somehow, I hear you, man. I hear you, man. Like, no matter what, like, every time we played blackjack, I either, like, they didn't know how to play, or they just enjoyed losing, or I don't know. Was it just sheer luck? Because we played pretty much every weekend for a while. And it was more than just that, but that was, like, the, the frequency, at least. So I'm, I'm really curious. Like, yes. But also, like... I remember almost every night we would go back home and I... <laughs> uh, looks like you won again, man. <laughs> Bren Blackjack Addiction. I'm gonna get every single card in the deck tattooed on my body. You see that there? That's the King of Diamonds. On my right butt cheek. I don't know. It, you'd have to have a lot of space or just like a small grid of cards. Yeah, there you go. And just uh, get your tattoo artist to load you up in the computer mainframe and then they can resize the tattoo on your three-dimensional body representation in the computer. Alright, how big do you want this? H how big do you want the playing cards tattoo all over your body? Can I get a really, like, really small? A microscopic, actually. <laughs> Imagine if that's how it worked. Not even just tattoos, but anything. You go in and they do the most abstract thing possible. You, you, like, you, if you aren't paying attention or you just mess it up, you could get like just a stupid product. You go into the shop, you want to get a coffee cup. They measure your whole body's dimensions and like scan you into the computer system. And then like you just, you resize whatever dimensions so that you have a coffee mug the size of the entire warehouse. You click like, you get, scan for checkout or whatever. It's like $2.96, you pay. You just sit there for this next six hours as they try to piece together how you did that. And how are they gonna give this uh, like, you know, cosmic coffee mug to you? <laughs> That's coffee tower right there. That, that there's coffee tower. Some guy named Jim walked in and ordered the world's largest coffee mug. And they legally were obligated to build it for him. <laughs> Jim's coffee tower. Okay, you go into the giant coffee mug. What are you expecting? Is it like a touring facility where you look around like a museum of coffee stuff? And you, or you're like, okay, how does this work? Is it like a... Is this a complex? You walk in and it's just like an office building, but it looks like a coffee mug? Uh, is it you walk in and it's completely hollowed out, but there's like a staircase along the, the ring of the wall. It's just like a fucking spectator deck. 
What are you doing if you walk into the giant coffee mug and it's unlimited coffee fountain, but it's like piping hot? So everybody's constantly walking up and they're going, ooh, ah. <laughs> and like you've already you've already gotten your fill. You've had like three gallons of coffee at this point. But people are still walking up going, ooh, ah. <laughs> See, this just makes me wonder the greater overarching coffee mug universe. Uh, we got like people in coffee merch directing traffic. Head over there to the fountain if you want your frappuccino. Anyway. <laughs> what the fuck was that about? Ryu's afflicted by the curse, but Omega Law, like it don't matter. Oh. Oh, it does matter. Oh, fuck. Okay, goodbye. You tried. He hung on? How? <laughs> I was 100% convinced he was gonna faint there. Three fucking gallons of coffee. Yeah, what was it? Like the two... <laughs> the two liter of coffee is like, you know, just absolutely lethal. You drink the two liter of coffee and you have enough caffeine for like, you know, 300 Mountain Dews. They're scamming you on the Mountain Dew. <laughs> you fucking remember the two crabs of caffeine in the Mountain Dew. <laughs> you're getting scammed. You're get, you, if you buy the two liter of Mountain Dew, you're getting scammed. What you need to do is make a two liter of cold brew coffee. <laughs> I mean, I guess. It, the, the actual measurement we looked up though, I think was, it was a cold brew coffee. It was like that volume of espresso, right? A two liter of espresso. Will you drink the two liter of espresso? It's very ice cold and maybe has sugar in it. Once you stop drinking, you will never be able to stop. That is nightmare fuel. That's like some Black Mirror shit. You log into Netflix, you turn on the latest Black Mirror episode. It's just some guy drinking himself to death on two gallons, uh, two, two gallons, sure. A two liter of caffeine. At that point, at that point, it's just raw caffeine. That sounds like utter torture. My guy, you like, you, they offer to pay you for the science experiment. You go in, they say, this is a double blind experiment, yada yada. You go into another room. A scientist comes in and puts down a carafe or like a jug. They're like, this is the test. Uh, you just have to drink all of this caffeine. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? What do you, you gotta, you gotta, that's too much, man. That's too much. Holy shit. I'm so lucky that Ryu survived. That was 4 HP dream. I don't know what this is. Cact it's not Cacturn, it's like another cactus Pokemon. Uh, Badoo? Shiny Badoo? Uh, like a bug? A ladybug thing? I don't know what that is. Beedrill? Solasis. I don't want shiny solaces. Shiny dark rind. Shiny dark rind. Now will I stack brine? Nope. It curses. Really, the rocky helmet would be great here, but it doesn't really seem like it's gonna be happening. Literally a fucking death wish. <laughs> I don't know why I picture like, uh, you know, people that eat spicy stuff, we just, like a lot of spicy stuff. You just, uh, start drinking milk, right? I don't know why I picture that, but like we got a milk mask, right? It's like th for the caffeine. Whatever neutralizes the caffeine, we get like a, like a thin, covers your teeth mask, mesh mask. I'm drinking decaffeinated, uh, carafe of 
uh, two liters of, of caffeine. My god, what's wrong with you? No, it's fine. I have the anti-caffeine filter in my teeth. What does that remind me of? There, there's some anime, right? Where a character uh, has like something in his mouth that negates poison. It's like he has parasites or something. It, like, or not, it's like vacuoles inside of his mouth. What the fuck was that from? I must be thinking of like some JoJo level shit. Great fucking caffeine injected in your veins. Literally how you die. If you're injecting caffeine into the veins, you really need to just like put the, put the caffeine needle down. Start start writing down why you started injecting the caffeine needles. <laughs> it's just the same thing as the fucking guy that's like, we can't help it. We love our coffee enemas. We love injecting coffee up her butt. Like, literally, man? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can't help it. I, I need more coffee in me. I need it. I need it. Right, my doctor says I have been off the butt coffee for two years. I'm good. Rolls up to McDonald's. I will take one iced coffee. <gasps> <gasps> no. You seem chill, let's share the heroin needle. Literally, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how fucking people talk to each other. Dude, you're pretty cool, bro. Uh, here's like the bloody knife. Here, here's a knife with my blood on it. You wanna share blood? Let's share some blood. Could not find what the other Pokemon with Chandelure was. ECO, like suffix. Hmm. Literally, all I can think of is Chimeco. Are you sure it wasn't Rotom? I always forget Rotom exists. I feel like Unknown is more popular in my mind than Rotom. Alright, there it goes. It goes, it goes. There's a lot of grinding against the same trainer, but honestly, I don't care. It's just more of like... Hopefully, Team Rocket is pretty quick. You can't rematch him, but uh, at five level 50s, I should have an easy time. It's Chimeco, I checked. <laughs> uh, ECO, ECHO, I didn't even realize, but. Chimicho. It's Chimicho. I missed. What does it matter if I miss or not? This Pokemon's gonna fall anyway. I like seeing actual animated models, but it sort of makes me like sad for the future of Pokemon modding. I think I saw one of the Game Freak devs on Twitter talking about like they wanted to do sprites again or something. I don't know. I sort of just scrolled past that. The only thing that ends with Ko is Pineco, and that didn't make sense. Go Fortress. Use spikes a million times, Fortress. Negate the whole fact that you're like a setup special defense Pokemon, defense Pokemon. Gooey mulch. This whole time I barely use these fresh waters. Is Sun Moon slash Sun slash Moon a good name for Ursaring Volcarona? I don't know. You do you. <laughs> I like Volcarona. I've just been random generating names. Because it just takes me 5,000 years to think of anything. What would be a good name for a bear plus like a fire moth? That's how I try and think of it. Like just abstractify the fuck out of it. And then try and think of like a mythology or something weird. Light side. Now that's unique. The light side of the moon. The moon moth is on fire. It fused with the moon bell. The moon flame. It almost looks like you're saying I side. I 
like, all right, I'm about to head outside. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't even on purpose, but okay. All right, I'm about to head outside. Call it Mo. <laughs> Larry, Mo, Curly. Now Larry has taken the government documents, and he has also proprieted several thousand cyber brains, along with techno kidneys. We need you to go infiltrate his house, and also uh, take out his uh, confidant as well. His name's uh, Jerry Prime. It's the sun looking at the moon. Get crunched. Crunch. Sometimes it has a red card. Uh, it's always an Omega Lol moment. Yeah, we're getting pretty close. It's just the fact that I'm training two of them. His name's Jerry Prime. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what gets me so hard about that. It, like, Jerry is already a funny name. And yes, the Richard and Mortimer experience doesn't help. But the fact that we've gone primal, we've gone to Jerry Prime. The Jerry Primality. Root Jerry would be so mad at Prime Jerry. Central Finite Jerry would be so angry. Dude, I don't even care about Rick and Morty anymore. They're doing the Rick and Morty anime, and I'm looking at this like... First five seconds, I'm like, oh, this actually kind of looks cool. Next five seconds, I'm like, this looks like fucking hot garbage. Next five seconds, they're like, oh my god, this is depressing. Next five seconds, oh, this is pretty good. I'm sure this would be fine. Next five seconds, eh, it'll be okay. Next five seconds, oh my god, this is fucking utter hot trash garbage. Richard and Mortimer is gonna tank after this. Next five seconds. Yeah, you're gonna, you can tell this is just gonna be a one-off season. Next five seconds, well, if this does take off, we will have just a separate Rick and Morty anime. Next five seconds. Wow, this is shit. <laughs> the, the, the whole trailer I saw, that just, like, that's basically my reaction verbatim. The whole time I was like, wow. This kind of looking like the Avatar The Last Airbender live action movie. Jerry Prime is the new Ultra Kill boss in P3. Sun Terra is the most cursed thing ever. Sun Terra. What would that be? I'm thinking of like Sol Rock. I think I just put Ryu in first. Get that level 50 immediately. You betcha. Now, you don't want to fight the Jerry Prime boss. He's harder than college. Jerry Prime will uh, rate all of your assignments zero out of ten. You'll get an F in Jerry Prime's class. What's my new random generated shiny? Deli Bird. Ugh. Ugh. Then I get one that looks just like it. Whatever the fuck this is. Yeah. Penguino. No, that's not it. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Preen plop. Yeah. Preen preen. The Avatar The Last Airbender live action is too low for anything. Worst movie ever. Holy shit, that, that's saying something. I don't know, Neil Breen makes some pretty bad movies. I feel like you could probably get some hilarity out of the Atla movie. But I, I, it's, like, it's the same thing. See, it's like so bad it's good, so good it's bad, you know? I feel like we can invert it in, on this scale and say that like Breen is the better movie, of course. But like, you, I feel like you can still enjoy something out of the Atla live action, right? Or is it that bad? Worst movie ever. We've retconned Aang out and made Prince Zuko, uh, the Avatar. Now the Fire King Ozai is actually Katara. <laughs> Just like whatever we want to come up with. No, it's too bad.
Jerry Prime is way harder than Minos Prime. I could just picture Summer saying that. Jerry Prime is way harder than Minos Prime, Mom. Dad, you don't want to fight him. Dad, you're just regular Jerry. Jerry Prime is gonna rip you a new- Summer, get over here! <laughs> I can't do Rick voice all the time, it sucks. Jeez, Summer, dude, let's just let Dad fucking die. <laughs> I, I can't do Morty either because it just goes to the voice. It, it strays away from Morty voice immediately, automatically. God, Summer, just just let Jerry die. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. <laughs> I can't let Jerry die. I can't let Jerry die. He's gonna go watch the Avatar live-action movie, and he's gonna die. He's such a big fan of Avatar. He saw the first season of the cartoon, and now he's gonna be so disappointed he's gonna have a heart attack. Jerry, no! This is how Jerry Prime happens. Jerry goes into the movie theater to see a rerun of the Avatar live-action movie. And this is the perfect time for Jerry Prime to show up and assassinate the, the original Jerry. Assassinate. <laughs> just completely say it, like, whatever way. Yeah, I just... I hit the whammy bar on the guitar pedal. What? No, I hit the whammy gar bar on my guitar. I guess. I guess you could have a whammy pedal. Yeah, I'm whammying twice. Ryu's evolving now? Okay. Garchomp plus Lapras. What could this possibly be? Oh god, Lapchomp. It's actually kind of unique looking. It's gross. Now you get crunch? I honestly don't even want this. I have so many Pokemon with dark type move. Holy shit, okay. Garchomp. Doing randomized items in my randomizer and it's a Nuzlocke, but I don't have balls. You're doing all randomized items, like even inside of the shop? Cause good luck. Am I the only one that cannot understand the physics and math? And Rick and Morty. Nah, uh, nah, it's it's all imaginal math. That's all we're just tossing it up. The to be fair, you have to have 200 IQ to understand this meme. Comes from like the multiverse theory, I think. And the fact that Rick has a portal gun and we just work with like all sorts of like theories. I think that's where the 200 IQ meme comes from. I think like 98% of the time, Justin Roiland or whatever doesn't know what the fuck he is writing about either. <laughs> It's ju he's just like me. He's, he's just like, proper some quantum formula that makes no sense. Bro got chaos item in Isaac. <laughs> you see, Morty, people don't understand our TV show. <laughs> you know. I got beer. It reminds me of the run where I just kept getting tequilas. I must have had like 35 tequila before I lost. I just kept getting alcohol. This mix kind of weird so far. Psychic. Psychic. It goes. I guess you could say you you're saying you got beer for real, but also I'm just like yeah. For whatever reason, this game has beer. Like, just various types of alcohol. Can't wait until I get, like, a Mewtwo with a margarita on it. Margarita 2. Okay. Both of these moves do the damage. I can't buy balls. You don't have enough money, or you don't have any in the shop, or are you just in your Nuzlocke rule set? You're not allowed. I have a couple of, uh, what is it called? I have a couple allowances in this run. But for example, I can't just go to Celadon City and buy all of the Pokemon in the game corner. I don't think that's fair. 
Even if I, like, am able to get just infinite money super easily. I don't think it's fair. They just don't exist. Good luck. I've tried that, and it's fucking hard. It makes it that much more worth it whenever you find how to get them, but... I don't know where you're gonna find them. Maybe Mount Muin? Didn't you say you you pass that area? Mm. I don't know, it's hard to piece that together. Whatever you have all items randomized, including shop. Right now I have everything except shop, so like quest items are randomized. I, I wonder if that means I can actually do Bill's virtual reality quest. Alright, level 49 on Ryu. It looks very silly, but it is like the highest tier it can be right now. It's got really good stats for a level 50, it's very balanced, and it's just special attack based. You said, you said fucking Margarita 2 and I got reminded of the Dead Rising fucking Playboy shit. Sex 2.0! God, what? They must have gotten like an advertising deal or something, but that is, they picked the silliest bullshit. They knew that they were going to have something silly in there, so they picked the silliest bullshit possible. Also, I got a sky turtle. It's flying turtles all the way up, dude! I said that to an acquaintance once. I said it's turtles all the way down. And they're like, fuck you, man. I'm like, what are you, why? How dare you enlighten me to the concept of the turtle verse. I'm like, yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, turtle champ. It's flash cannon spams. I'm at one HP. I'm no longer confused, but it no longer matters. It's like outrun ending wave. I'm so curious. Okay, we keep getting like series rebooted. We get like anime rediscovered or like finally made or like re remade or we get games remade, whatever it is. All this stuff is getting remade, like Resident Evil, whatnot. Why in the world, I've already talked about this, but why in the world are we doing Fully Cooly again after we said, like, the third season was gonna be the last? After the series was already dead for, like, 20 years. And now, like, the fourth season, it's just we got the thing? from Fantastic Four following us around. Yeah? W what's that? What's that all about? Okay, no, 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 no. Bear with me here. That's like, okay, if we... This ain't even related, but I'm just gonna give it the, sh like, benefit of the doubt. It's like, if we took Eureka 7, it's very similar to like the same aforementioned and maybe like Evangelion or whatever. Giant mecha robot anime with feelings. We take that, we reboot it, but we put Gundam in there. Officially licensed Gundam. And you like see the trailer and it, you're like, that's Gundam, you point at it. You do the like, pogging Wojak pointing. But like the whole trailer, you don't actually see an official marking for it anywhere, for Gundam. You actually see Germa and Transformers in there too. You don't you don't see like any sponsorship, but you're like, wait, that's Germa. <laughs> that's that's what the fuck happened, it looked like. I think we legit got like uh Fantastic Four integration here, huh? We installed Fantastic Four in Fooly Cooly. Why I'll never know. I will never know. Now, if only this thing would spam curse over and over again. Instead, it chooses to flash cannon. My name's Flash Cannon. Very Flash Allen Cannon. Alright, there's level 50 incoming. Oh, what the fuck? I feel like I've heard this before. Stub Records, Scape Number 1, TDL Deep Space. We will unlock Sex 2.0 in Minecraft. Uh, uh, sorry, they actually did that in Roblox already. 
Sorry, uh, Minecraft didn't get to the punch quick enough. Alright. That's level 50. One more battle, that's level 50. Dust zone. Alright, let's go ahead and launch this out of here. Hopefully he'll curse. Yep, there we go. It looks like if you do just barely enough damage, he just defaults to curse, so I don't know. Maybe if I get the high roll. It doesn't matter. Ryu, Ryu wants to learn sheer cold. No way. Okay, that's 30% accuracy, but I can literally get an item that makes this always hit. Right? What, what do you get to make sheer cold always hit? There's an item that makes you always accurate. The sheer cold always hit in hail. Hmm. The only move that gains infinite accuracy during hail is Blizzard. Um, how do you get sheer cold to hit every time? 30% chance. Yeah. Sheer cold always hits if the difference between levels is 70 or higher. What the fuck? New discovery, five viruses have been found. Should they be removed? Chrome browser security, McAfee. Virus alert. Hard drive at risk. Remove virus with McAfee antivirus. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I will, actually. Um, I, I believe I will, actually. <laughs> I think I will, in fact. I, I think I will. Uh, guys, I'm going to click this. Uh, guys, I'm going to click this. You think I should click this? <laughs> oh my god. Not lock on. Uh, Articuno is able to learn Mind Reader. Hmm. So I'd need to be able- I'd have to get Mind Reader. I don't know if that's gonna happen. Silly stupid fucking image. You just want a free iPod Nano. You know what, if I want your cold, I'll come back to it. Okay, I want to play that VR game now, so I'm going to do that. Have fun. 200 HP exactly at level 50. That feels good. Hey, 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 watch the magic. Get in there. Let's go. Now we just get, like, crazy levels. Whenever I go down to the sewer level, I'm gonna get crazy level. Pressure versus bite, it ain't nothing. I got 25 move power. It spams curse and then I just eat it next turn. Ah. Love seeing Dust Noir and Magnazone combined. That's just, it looks like the easiest EXP because it pretty much is. Also, he's got, like, cool skull armor, so I love that. I have five moonstones. Damn, you want to, like, send some over there? Like, you know, trade, uh, trade on over. I'm going to need some of those. What is it that I have? I have a meter Reno plus something. That would love to evolve. Sucker punch. 70 damage. Fails if the target is not readying an attack. That's worthless. Just want balls. I don't want moonstones. I just want to catch a Pokemon. Let's see. How would you do that? I wonder if Thief would allow you to steal random Pokeballs on trainer Pokemon. I, is that even possible? I feel like the randomizer would allow it, but maybe it doesn't. Just in case the game doesn't glitch out or something. You're not allowed to have a Master Ball on your Pokemon. Let's go again. It's so close now. Level 50 experience is right on the horizon. I think we just need to jump around a little bit. I don't want to completely eat up this whole artist's mix. I 
Destiny Nut. What the hell is that again? It's so hard to remember the vast majority of items in this series because there's so many now. And now Infinite Fusion adds a bunch of weird shit too. Like Quad X Fusion 4. No, Quad X Attack 4 is what I meant to say. I just throw the word fusion in there for fun. How many Pokemon can you fuse together in this game? I'm gonna fuse a hundred Arceus together. What happens if I fuse a hundred gods into one? That'd be pretty neat if you could just endlessly fuse. That might be like a debug feature. The only thing it really does though is probably just add level or actually nothing. Maybe just like messes up the sprite. There's a Cubone and Groudon fusion on my screen. Cudon. Growbone. That seems like it would either be cool or really silly looking. Gligar Genesect, that sounds pretty interesting. Alright, let's go in. I don't think I even want to get a free Pokemon from Team Rocket or the Game Corner. Maybe the Game Corner, but I already got Eevee from the like condominiums. So I'm not sure if I really want to do that. Genesect is pretty cool. I want to see like uh, actual electric mecha bug whenever I fuse it with other stuff. But so far I haven't really seen any Genesect fusions. Maybe like three. I seem to recall one of them and it was like super weak. I was thankful that it fell over very quick. Cast curse. Cast a curse. It used its berry to get pumped. Okay. What does that mean, man? You're gone. You're pumped up about what? He's got pumped up kicks. Alright. The fresh water is so worth it. This is part of me not randomizing the shops. But also, uh... I don't know, that's just my preference. I don't think I'd easily find Pokeballs. Another Moonstone. God damn it. You're gonna have so many fucking Nido Kings. Well, hurt myself in confusion. Is there anything that can do the damage here? Get snapped out of confusion for the last bite, that's great. There's an Inferno Do Duo now. This forest is cracked. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe, like, just one of the random generated items that you get from a NPC will be one Pokeball. You can catch something with pickup that'll get a Pokeball. Groudon, Infernape, and Genesect. Dual fire type seems so cool conceptually, but I think it's really, if you want it, you need to specialize in two special attackers that just, like, stack overheat or whatever. It's all fucking crazy fire moves. Sounds like some fucking Mario music. What the? Alright, what is this? I keep looking at this. This is what made me think of Fooly Cooly. Virtual music. No, this is like you're inside of the uh, perfume store music. I see. This should be good. That is a fucking Mega Metagross. That sounds awesome. That sounds fucking awesome. Mega Metagross. Is that in the, like, one of the vanilla generations? I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at here with my other, like, I, I'm looking at the shiny hunting Pokemon generator. What is this? Buzzwool. Yeah, that's a very swole bug. 
Well, I got hippo, John. It's too few as Metagross. That's probably li that probably looks fucking sick. Either it's just a larger, more like defined Metagross, or it's got like eight limbs, and it's a Nexus. It's a double Metagross. We need to combine the double Metagross. Why is it only Dust Zones? Uh, I'm just training against this trainer right now until I get base level 50s. So, right now I'm almost there. I don't think I'm going to train Abyss immediately. I don't know if spot number 6 is really even assigned to a Pokemon right now. But I wanted all level 50s before I fought Erika or Koga. It's literally a Mega Metagross from Oras. Okay, I wasn't sure if that existed. What does this look like? Holy shit. It's got crazy spikes on its limbs. I think it has, wait, is that six? Okay, one image on DeviantArt. Oh, it's a it's a fake mock-up, I see. That one has six limbs. Mega Metagross kind of cool, but it looks like it's in attack mode. It does not look weak anymore. Like, I'm not saying Meg Metagross looks weak, it's like, Metagross, it looks like it has a weakness, like a flaw that'll allow you to beat it. The Mega version is levitating and looks like it's gonna rocket at you with its magnet powers and just like impale you against a wall. It's gonna impale me against a wall. Oh, it's the same person. I thought you were fighting different trainers and they all had dust zones. That would have been awful. So far I've had that happen. I don't know what happened. I fought one trainer, he had a good loadout of Pokemon that I wanted to battle against. But for whatever reason, I guess like I didn't technically fight him? I don't know. And then he copied another trainer's loadout. And I had to fight him again. And then I was able to rematch. I don't know what happened. Like I... I, I think I fought him initially. And then he walked up to me. So I don't know. I don't know, that was weird. Trainer has a Bidu Fulcarona and an Arceus Arceus Larvesta. He has two gods, what do I do? I love Arceus, but just like I was saying about Metagross. At least in the default Metagross. It has a primary weakness. I feel like fire types are always really weak to fighting type moves, and there you go, that's what Arceus is weak to. Like, fighting type and rock. For whatever reason, you throw a boulder on the fire, it goes out. So I guess that logic, like, follows. Alright, just half a level to go. Bite it up. Ranch it up. So magic, slightly higher than 150 HP. And we get 200 HP. That's a feels good, man. Alright, one last battle. Yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Bidoof Volcarona, though, must be weak. Bidoof is gonna bring that Volcarona down. Right, pressure has eaten up all my bites, but thankfully I have just enough. <gasps> that crit! It powers up. Nice defense, bro. What is this image of Mega Metagross? Okay, it looked like it had hypnotized eyes, and I'm like, why is Metagross hypnotized? Is it looking at Hypnotoad? Hypnotoad. Eh. Slightly less accurate, I'll just keep Aurora Beam. That's the Suicune move. Now, I feel like we're just making Metagross art of the Mega Evolution, and he just splays his limbs everywhere. I lost? Oh no! Fuck! God damn it! Uh, here, you can have my run. Take my run. Had Porygon Z Yan Mega. What the fuck? Yeah. Uh, I don't blame you, fam. What? The gods, and then another god, but like an artificially created god. Of pseudo gods. Let's take a best, put it in the PC. I need to be able to slash this up. Where are you at? Here? Sword, <laughs> for whatever reason, 
The Aria Dose loves to be its sprite. Oh fuck, I'm sorry you lost the Nuzlocke. What can I do? I, I suggest doing what I've been doing, which is just rematch every trainer you meet. From level 5 onward, get to level 7, get to level 9, get to level 10. Rematch the first trainer you can a million times. I was four levels above it, it was invincible. At this point in Nuzlocke, I mean, I beat Crystal Nuzlocke, I guess. Crystal Rando Nuzlocke. But I'm always like, I want to be 30 levels higher. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? My name is Erica, I run the local gym. I just saw two Team Rocket grunts run into the sewers. I wonder what was up with that. What? Team Rocket have kidnapped Mr. Fuji. That's awful. We have to do something about it. Come with me. We have to go after them. Alright, what's our route catch for the sewer gonna be? This should be something neat. Or it'll be like one drowsy. That'll be like, curse you, Erica. She's gonna heal my Pokemon. Alright, what's the random Pokemon for this route gonna be? Literally Magnemite. <laughs> Because I already have Nose Trio. Uh, it's Chanlet. Oh, Chanlet. I beat Emerald, Platinum, Black 2, Normal Black, all randomized. And all with high power scaling. High power slaking? Or high power scaling? In Platinum, I also had a Godish. <laughs> God tier Oddish? I tried to get into Platinum Nuzlocke, but god damn. Game's so punishing, and then I got sent back to the beginning, and I was like, game's so punishing. I mean, I guess I'll take Magnemite, that's better than nothing. It was an Oddish with four one hit KO moves and no guard. <laughs> what the fuck? That's immense. Cool. I don't want Chanlet. I don't want Chanlet. It's awful. It's gonna throw an egg at me, but I don't want to eat the Chanlet egg. It's probably disgusting. I can't run away, huh? There's a Bubble Beam hits both. Thunderbolt, Aurora Beam. I don't care. Just get it out of here. Huge power slaking. Oh, I see, I see. They are saying like high power scaling. Chanlet Mega Punches Radicate. Yeah. I don't think it was a threat, but thanks for your contribution, Chanlet. Could I please just get the fucking Magnemite? <laughs> I'm literally face palming at that. This thing won't show up, and it always happens this way. When I go into the sewers, it's just like uh, the first thing I see is what I catch. But it never shows up until like a day later. And it's like the weakest fucking thing anyway. Did you just magnitude? Did you just fucking magnitude? Okay, Chandlet is a menace. It can magnitude, I guess. I gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> if it's gonna start magnituding my party member. There it is. I've already gotten Viper Slash. I think I just switch out and hope that it attacks one or the other, I don't know. But did you get a goddish? I've never had one hit KO moves ever work for me, ever. Never ever. Like, maybe I'll take it as just like a one-off, and it'll hit once every five uses. I've never had like the combo pop off or anything. Alright, switch again. If I had a goddess, if I had a goddess, I would use it. Alright, it's gone. Hey, 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 catch the Magnemite. I absolutely despise catching just one Pokemon that's default, not fused. It's fine, but it's just silly. Sure, throw the Spark Ball at it and paralyze it. I actually like the way this looks. 
imagine that your trainer catches you with a spark ball and paralyzes you, so you get a cool Pokeball, but Omega Lull, uh, you were paralyzed to get captured. I'm trying to think of what my goddess was. I had a Pokemon named Dude, D O O D, which translates to death in a, like some language. And dude was carrying hard. He was like the embodiment of destruction, in fact. I just need to let Chanlet die. Just die, Chanlet. Just die. I've had a lot of good god tier Pokemon, but definitely nothing like one hit KO capable. Hey, Chanlet, will you fuck off? <laughs> just catch this, please. Magnemite's not even that hard to catch. It missed! It missed! It missed! That's fucking great! She sends out Houndile. Erica, are you gonna have these Pokemon in our gym battle? Because that is pathetic. Houndile? Oof. Oh my god, are you kidding me? It's gonna take 50 years to catch a goddamn Magnemite. She is a backup Pokemon, and it's a fucking demon dog. A small demon dog. What am I gonna do? Hope I get a good starter. I hope you do too. Sometimes I feel like you pick the good starter though, and you still get wiped. You pick the silly thing. Sometimes you win. It's like, what the fuck, game? Alright, free XP that I don't want. I meant to take out the nose trio so I could just run away, but okay. The use this magnitude. God damn. I need magnet rise to combat my ally. It's a good thing we trained up quite a bit. Erica has just like a piece of hair that's sticking out. Part of her model seems to glitch slightly. Her sprite, if you will. All right. <laughs> like, when am I gonna get a Pokemon? I don't even want this thing, but I, if I want a route catch, I better get it, you know? It's either that or I get Golimer, yeah? I hope you get a double Arceus. That way you can send me a screenshot of what it looks like, cause that sounds awesome. I got a duck for alligator. <laughs> Psyduck plus for alligator. Get Nose Trio out of here. The fact that it infinitely arena traps is so unfair. Do do do. Assurance is such a good move. I forget how it properly works, but it's like the higher HP they have, or if they're about to attack, I don't know. Just a good physical dark move. Please, give me the fucking Magnemite. I'm all level 50s at this point. Well, there's Mam Cargo, the Pokemon I would've loved to have had. Can I just... <laughs> That's a lot better. That's a lot better, in fact. It starts to magnitude. Yeah. Exactly. It's super effective on everything. It's a Ducky Gator. Watch out for Ducky Gator, it's very powerful. Does Fainting Chanlet give me XP? Yeah, that's curious. I guess probably not because they're my party member, but still. The fact that I can attack because it knows magnitude. The Furret Bear killed me, god damn it. So much potential. Wait, so they had Ursaring plus Furret. God damn it, Gary. You gotta stop cheating, Gary Nuzlocke. I turn and face Erica. We gotta catch this Magnemite. What? Ginch. Ginch. Okay, you know what? <laughs> Maybe I just leave this route alone for a little bit. Let's throw a Meteor out. It seems like Meteor and 
Excalibur, two of our strong ones. Or Meteor and Ox, actually. Hey, you guys aren't from Team Rocket. Hey, we claim the sewers first. Go find your own place. Get out. Finders keepers, this is our sewer. Rio Enja. Oh! Slugiat. That's a Pugiat. That is a Pidgeot completely covered in lava. That's horrific. I rock slime both of them. Ho ho ho! That was amazing. Whoa, I didn't expect that. Who are you people? Who are you people? Metal powder. Didn't get the Pokedex. Well, I count that. I always count the first battle. Even if it, it's like, you know, you lose, but it'll let you still play. It won't send you to Pokemon Center. I still count it. Even if I faint, I restart. Maybe one of these days I'll get a Magnemite. Maybe one of these days I will get a Magnemite. The fact that I have Rock Slide is just invaluable here, I think. I do so much damage at level 50, it really doesn't matter if it one-shots or not. It doesn't matter if it's effective or not, because it does one-shot. Our leader is really strong. Team Rocket Joffrey. Retoad and Spin Lava. <laughs> These are both awful, ugly Pokemon. God damn. Get him out of here. Destroy him, in fact. Get him off my screen. I would have beaten you if it was one against one. Huh? Uh... You're not paying attention, man? I just rock slided in one shot. I could have done the same thing. No, I don't want sticky keys. I was hitting shift, not enter. Alright. A Togekiss Delibird with Metronome used Frenzy Plant and I'm pure water. What is my luck? Sometimes the game just wants to cheat. I feel like sometimes the game just wants to beat the ever-loving fuck out of the player. <laughs> sometimes it's just so unfair. You go to the first gym and it's like the type that you're bad against. But not only that, you fight Brock, and he also throws out the thing that like doubly so fucks you up. Like you have, you have grass types. Rock, Brock is a fire type gym. You're like, well, that's fine. I'll be able to tank with this one specific grass type. But Brock throws out a fire psychic type that also destroys your fighting grass type. I'm like, well. <laughs> It just so happens to be like the perfect combination of bullshit every time. What did I do to deserve it? <laughs> Holy shit, that's a me IRL moment. You people really shouldn't be hanging around to the sewers. Well, well, what do I have we here? I got a ball? Yo. Yo, go catch that Pokemon. Philip and Paul. Larkyu and Sanasim. <laughs> okay. I'm liking the Mimikyu. I'm liking the Mimikyu. It looks kind of interesting. It looks like a Mario character. Sanasum's gotta go. It's gonna die in one hit. It actually tanked, somehow. Pedal dance, no, dude! Wait, that actually hurts. Oh. Thankfully, Meteor's flying. My god. That was a bit freaky. I don't need to be taking that much damage in one fell swoop. This rock slide. Nice, you caught a Pokemon with that one Pokeball. That's fucking amazing. I feel like it's always better if you get just one item randomized into a Pokeball. Like default potion or I don't know. Did I go this way first? I forget. Yeah, I can go down here. Don't want to battle. In fact, I'm going to throw down a repel. That is a really messed up looking mammoth swine. Looks like it lost its lower jaw or some shit. Trick room? Do I really even want to use that? So this opens up, or I'm able to walk over it at least. But I think I want to keep going, right? Before I even toggle any of the switches. Okay. 
Yeah. Now I can double back. Its ability is battle armor. That's so good. I don't even know what that is. I love huge power. I love no guard, kind of. We were talking about that. Battle armor? I don't really know what that does. I miss older randomizers where you could randomize abilities, moves, everything. Chaos and Magnemite. Alright, here's my chance. Go ahead and just throw Ryu out, I guess. I think Chandlet will just attack the strongest thing or the closest to it, so who knows. Rocky helmet damage. It uses magnitude. It can't get crit. Oh, that's good. Magnemite is barely hanging on. I almost want to use Ryu to just one-shot Chandlet. Get the fuck out of here. No, it just spams magnitude again. God damn. Well, there was my chance to catch Magnemite again. You damn stupid Pokemon. Chandler is so stupid. Yeah, not being able to get crit is very useful. Especially as an ability, not an item. Because then you can just stack that with something else. Let me go upstairs. Set to dry, flood the sewers. The sewers been flooded. It's been flooded completely. Alright, let me go heal up. Thankfully, I'm not using the sewer level for grinding anymore. That was just such a pain. That was such an awful slog. So much of that, too, was just like trying to get one Pokemon to level 50. Look at this. I'm here before I've even completed the sewers, and I've got five level 50s. Yeah. Yeah. Into the sewer level. I have five ice stones now. <laughs> Good old Professor Oak. He's got, uh... He's got dementia or something. He's got Alzheimer's. He doesn't really know what he's handing. I think he remembers that he's meant to give you a reward, but he does he didn't really check what was in the package. So instead of moon stones, I'm getting ice stones. Yikes. I love that this Team Rocket member down there starts just swimming. He won't get out, he just starts swimming. They're hustling. Oh, God, the Renegade up here. I don't care. What does Hustle even do? Just amps up both Pokemon on the same party? I don't care. Sand Force. What is that? I don't understand any of this. At least I can sell them. Yeah, that's worth some money. Ice stone, probably not too much money, but worth a little bit. Now, you don't want to know about the toxic orb spam. Or I, would, I just kept getting free toxic orbs. I was making millions of dollars per second. Gotta love that I discovered that you can fight the Team Rocket members on the way to Saffron after the fact because I had paid them the hundred grand the first time. I, I didn't realize you could refuse. I paid them 100,000 Poké Dollars the first time because I was just getting free money anyway. Here, Team Rocket, let me fund your endeavors. Could have said a million, I probably would have pulled it off anyway. Rock slide. Hustle gives you more attack in exchange for accuracy. That's pretty good. I guess if you're like a huge tank, then your accuracy doesn't matter as much because you just gotta hit once. I think I'm more of a fan of just huge power. I think that's just one of my favorites. I thought for a while it was just like Regigigas? Regigigas gets slow start and is it huge power or maybe I'm wrong? Is it only normal types usually get a huge power? And then, like, as we went along, just other stuff gets it. Special attack up is okay, but I don't really care. I've got insect plates for whatever I catch Arceus. Yeah, I'll fuse Arceus with Magnemite. You get, like, the stupidest god magnet. God? 
Is this your magnet? I believe that is my stapler. I do believe that is my stapler. Huh? Did I miss? Does it affect Meteor, thankfully? Rock slide. I guess I missed. Always interesting to see a miss when the animation procs. I guess that's just more of a double battle, triple battle thing. What? Triple battles, dude? Yeah. This is a fucking weird voice there. Get out of there. Alright, uh... Am I done here? Uh, do I reset the water level now? A fighting type shell. Like, shelter? I have to go back over there. So you figured out how to work the water levels, didn't you? Maybe there's water here. Maybe there's water here. My god, I can buy potions? That's useful. Shell sore and mud rock. I heard you like mud rocks. I destroyed both of them with rock slide. It doesn't matter. It eats a thing. Wow, I took damage. What did that say? Like Jabamba berry? Did that say Jamba juice berry? Like what? What was that? God. First of all, I can't catch the Magnemite spawned here. Because my ally is just such a pissant. Second of all, I can't reliably get around battles. Because I want that Pokemon, and also I just keep running into arena trap. Oh, there it goes. Each Ice Stone sells for 2.5k. I have 13k. That's fucking amazing. I thought it was worth way less than that, like 500 to 1,000. Hey, stop messing with the water level. It's wet down here. No. What are you waiting for, Gary? Lusor and Erastor. <laughs> Erzaster, sorry. That is fucking horrifying. Just destroy them both. Media rock slides them away. Lusor is alive. Not for long. It doesn't affect Meteor, thankfully. I want to see the player that gets like a million Polka Dollars before even like the second gym leader. Hey, level 51. That feels good. Alright, I have to open this. I don't want to fight you, Mam Cargo Raticate, but if I must. This dude has a Dialga Poliwhirl. I think I've seen that. I've seen that specific Pokemon before. Found a poison mushroom. I don't need that. Thanks for the Viridian Forest item. Hey, it's Muck. Took long enough to see this. I don't know why, like, a lot of the sewer Pokemon just re-randomized into sewer Pokemon. Guess we gave up? <laughs> Doesn't affect Meteor, but it'll sure smack the last HP of those two. Yo. Alright, the goal now is level 60. Maybe 55, but I don't see 55 being a good level to be at for safety. Yeah, this is where I go now. Lost? God damn. Such is the pain of not luck. Legit, I... This run... I probably spent like two hours in Viridian City alone, right? Some of that was trying to catch a Pokemon, which happens in Nuzlocke, if you have, like, you know, my rule set at least. But a lot of it was just, I wanted to grind. I think, like, a lot of it is just straight up find a good trainer that you can whip their ass a million times. That also gives good XP. The water level is set to wet now. What is up with these trainers having legends? Are you playing on hard mode, too? Apparently hard mode only just adds like plus 10 levels to everything or something. It only makes them slightly harder. See, I was assuming though that hard mode just made it like exceptionally hard and fucked you at every turn. Can't clap anyone, everyone has legends. 
And there you go, we got there. Fucking Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am on hard mode. So the luck of the draw. Sometimes you get like a Larvitar Cyndaquil, and yet it has like flamethrowers, somehow carries you through Gary. And you just gotta take that. Because everything you'll catch is garbage, and everything you'll fight is garbage. There was an Arceus. <laughs> I'd like to play that game at some point. But I think I know Nintendo's track record. Usually if we make a console Pokemon game, it's not that good. There was a literal god. Literal god showed up to the battlefield. Literally god was there. Sounds like a fucking actual religious reference. God shows up to the battlefield and says, uh, it's okay, bro. Like, don't worry, uh, just get in there. Get in there, soldier. Get into the field of battle. It rock slides us. Chandlet avoids the attack. Don't forget to take your Chandlets. You're trying to quit cigarettes and tobacco. Take your Chandlets. I so badly want the thing to be level 34, even level 35, but it's just a smiling goober. Stuck at level 33. Smiling rock, electric automaton, ghost goober. With also fairy vibes. God came in and said, I don't like you, and sent me to hell. <laughs> me, every time I play Nuzlocke and get any progress at all. Jod takes me out of Javin and sends me straight to Jell. I wasn't on the, the Javin entry list. I wasn't on the Javin guest list. I gotta reapply. Hey, you can't go through here, Team Rocket members only. And you're not supposed to be here. Caitlin, Prime Pod, and Koron. <laughs> Yo, this is gonna be the hardest battle so far. God sends you directly to the Jevil. What you doing next? What you doing next? God sends you directly. <laughs> the joke was meant to be funnier because you you hear directly as a J, but now it just sounds like I'm making a stupid joke. How do I like further complexify this? God, Jens. <laughs> Wait, this guy never fights you. Why is that? All right, you, you, you've created a serious defense against Jod. He sends you to the Drevel. The Drevel says you. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The joke itself is already silly enough in Deltarune. All right, I always go right here. Pidgeot, Sceptile, or Abra Bagon? Uh, see, Sceptile Pidgeot is the thing that's going to sweep Gary, but Abra Bagon has the highest potential. So it's really a toss-up. Bagon has a high likelihood of having Dragon Rage. But if it doesn't, then you need to know what tech to use against Pidgeot Sceptile. Because if Gary takes that, which is very likely, you might be fucked. The problem with Pidgeot Sceptile is it doesn't have a lot of potential. If you're just looking at it at the base value, it's grass flying, so it's weak to everything. But it would be very good for the very first battle, I guess. Who are you? How'd you get here? So it's early game or late game. That's all I see with that. It could be that Gary takes the weak thing there that, you know, you don't want. That's, you know, there's the likelihood of that, but I... Bagon takes so long, so you really do need to train that thing up anyway. Took late game, all right. I just see Bagon even turning into its second form. It's already immensely powerful. The only thing you need is Dragon Rage. I named it Good Question Mark. God Question Mark. Is this a God Pokemon? It Giga Drains. Rose Wild. Oh, it's a Weavile. Wing Attack. Hopefully it has Dragon Rage. Team Rocket Romeo. My mind. <laughs> What's up, my mind? Wing attack destroys fighting type. 
I don't care about your silly berry that you eat in death. What is this? Like fucking Dragon Ball Z. We eat a senzu bean. Yeah, man? This fucking silly dungeon. Imagine Twitch Plays Pokemon gets this. Has Twitch Plays Pokemon done Infinite Fusion? I wonder. I think after a while we ran out of mainline games. And we started doing like, hey. Just play anything. Play any randomizer. Play any ROM hack. Play this, play that. I wouldn't be fucking surprised. Are you lost, you little rat? There was an electric poison Rotom Beedrill. Versus Abra Bagon. That's a crazy matchup. Dragosian. Speaking of crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. They put me in a Dragosian room with Solacis mixed with. I don't know. Solosian. I don't really know that Pokemon. I don't care. Hanyan. Crunch, dude! Thought it would be like bug something. Hmm. Rotom is very formidable early on. Beedrill just sucks ass if it gets to like Horn Drill or whatever. Whatever the multi-hit move is. Is that Horn Attack or it's something else? It's like Fury Swipes, but it's not that. Why? Sorry, Chad. Sorry, Team Rocket, Chad. I had to destroy you, Chad. I had to destroy the Team Rocket, Chad. I guess I go this way first. Pizza. There's a Lugia Mantine in the grass. Item Urge. What the fuck is that again? Oh, it's a battle item. Okay. Such a fucking weird name. I got an urge for the item. Urge. The Erd Leaf. The Erd Tree. Sacred Erd Tree. Tarnished. Alright, let's go. You broke into our operation? No, no, this is my operation now, Finders Keepers. Doug. Han Slash. Oh. Hold Edge plus Sand Slash. Kinda weird looking though, it doesn't look like what the intention was. I'm just gonna chip away. It retaliates. Yo, that move looked like it was gonna do the damage though. Yeah. Chip away probably was what I needed there for Crunch to fully pop off. Burnt. He's burnt. Okay, I gotta watch out, I fight Giovanni here. Lugia, I feel like, despite being a Generation 2 cover Pokemon, is still very viable. You know, if you're just skipping out on, like, excluding Legendaries, which you really, you really should just use any Legendary you could get in Nuzlocke. That's it, that's as far as you're going to get. Especially Fusion Nuzlocke, like, yeah. I have two Claw Fossils. Dupes, dude, you got the Dupe Claws? Reshino. Hey, watch out for that heckin' Reshirino, dude. Reshiram, man. You gotta watch out for Reshirino, dude. Heckin' Reshirinos, dude. Reshino. I don't even want to know. No, you can't. You can't know. Reshiram plus Arceus has got to be good. It says, Ch two children. I truly wonder what's on the left hand side but i don't care either well well what do we have here as ketchup i'm sorry i couldn't do anything it was just too strong i must say i'm impressed that you two made it all the way here still i hope that you had a better plan than simply barging in here expecting to defeat me because this won't be happening all right let's go giovanni battle He sends out Lythorn. Ferrothorn plus Lairon. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> Rock Slide. It avoided the attack and ingrained. I don't think that matters. I'm going to do Crunch then. I just do massive damage. Iron Barbs. Oof. Got super splashes. I got five power lenses from Oak. Pug! Uh, let's see. Probably Rock Slide again. Yeah. It metal sounds. Well, I'm gonna switch out after this so your 
special defense debuff doesn't mean anything. Never mind. Back with another rock slide. Help, help me. Help me help. Out speed because of the healing, and also it's probably just the same speed roll. Okay. Team Rocket Boss Giovanni sends out another one. Let's go Ox. Ox seems immensely powerful enough to take on another. Look at this, I'm 10 plus 3 levels above. Guard Elosia. Okay, I'm 11 levels above. That's powerful as fuck. I Night Slash this. Yeah! I like Gardevoir. I love Typhlosion. That was kind of weird looking, though. Shed sack. Okay, that's freaky, but, uh... I can just Night Slash. Okay, it's Wonder Guard. I cannot Night Slash. Thankfully, the nice thing about, uh... Parasect is that it's just kind of stupid. Who has fire? You have fire. Send out Excalibur. It's a good thing I have something that can take out Shedinja. Watch this thing be not weak to fire. And that's why I, I don't know what I fight it with. Never mind. <laughs> Rocky Helmet, let's fucking go. Pog. What this cannot be. Okay. I see that you raise your Pokemon with utmost care. Thanks, man. A child like you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. I hope we meet again. Fuck off, Giovanni. I mean, nice meeting you, man. Whew, I'm lucky you were here. I never could have done it without your help. Thank you, Ass Ketchup. This Sylph Scope that Giovanni left behind, I think it helps to see ghost Pokemon. With this, you'll be able to save Mr. Fuji on top of the Pokemon Tower. Okay, then, I'll be heading back to my gym. You should come challenge me there sometime. Finally. Finally, a Sylph Scope. And what was this? Triple Fu- Oh yeah, that's right. Triple Fusion. Okay. Uh, do I just use my rope? Do I even have any? What? I thought I had escape ropes. I guess not. Okay. Thought there'd be a nice, easy way to get out of here. I guess not. You can go back this way, huh? Oh, it just teleports you out, I see. That's convenient. All right, Celadon City's taken care of. The only thing we need to do here is now fight Erica. But uh, that requires us to double back. We have to go back over to Lavender anyway. So I'm gonna do that. And uh, I'm disappointed that I can't catch Magnemite. It's just such a pain in the ass. Uh, I forget how it works. If you go back to the sewers, do you just get Erica with you, or it's like double battles again, or it's just single battles? I think every time I've just neglected going back in. No, I think it's single battles, right? In fact, now that we're done with Erica, I can just go back and catch Magnemite whenever I want. Let's do that. Let's do that. Now that Team Rock is completely dispatched the right time of day, I'll be able to find it super quick. The sewer level flooded. The sewer's all flooded now. That's just 1v1s now. I'm gonna get a level 52 out of this. That's fucking good. It has spark. What? You asshole. I love that Oak sometimes just gives you five really good items. You're like, well, that's better than Pokeballs. Let's throw magic out there. I really just need to catch this Magnemite. I don't even want it. Got Groudon to Blade. All right, now you're gaming. The two Flame Blades. What is it? Dub Blade into Hone Edge? Or Hone Edge? I don't remember how it works. I just know the final tier is just drastically better than even the base level of Pokemon. Groudon to Blade sounds like it'd be a unique sprite. Alright, let's find this Magnemite. Let's get this Magnemite, gamers. It's, uh, the Blade. 
Hone Edge, the Blade, and Aegislash, I see. I always wonder, like, where's the triple word there? It, it just isn't there. We just go Aegis. Aegis. Aegislash plus Groudon sounds immensely powerful. I guess I just assumed Double Aid was like the final tier evolution, even though I've seen Aegislash a million times. Level 35 to get Double Aid, and then you need a Dusk Stone. Okay. Huh. Well, if you ever want to trade, I got a, a, a shitload of Dust Stones. In Generation 6... It, wait, what? It has, Okay, I don't care about the friendship value. Joined your Discord server? What's your user? What, you mean like actually trading? I don't, I don't know how to do that. You mean like on Discord? You want to join the Discord? Just you could just send it in the Discord server. Yeah, I see you joined. Yeah, you could just post it anywhere in the Discord server. You don't have to like DM it. I'm gonna send you a screenshot. It looks so good. I need to see the double aid growling. Growling to bleed. Okay, this thing ain't showing up. <laughs> I'm gonna get a level 51 magic out of this after uh, just like the slowest training possible. I'm gonna generate another shiny, shiny hunting Pokemon. Shiny Giratina, normal form. Kind of freaky looking. Uh, arena trap. Goddamn arena trap. Well, I'd like to go to the Pokemon Tower and get the Pokemon I can catch over there. But first this happens. Why is Magnemite so rare? Dude. Dude, it sucks. Magnemite sucks. I regen... I randomize again. And I get Shiny Cleffa. Cleffa plushy. And I throw it into the garbage compactor. I immediately think of shit like that. Yo, that looks fucking crazy. It's it looks like Renji from Bleach is Bleach is. It looks like Renji from Bleach's weapons. Or his main weapon. Got like two saw blades almost, or like I I don't know what to call this. Take this, take a gander at this. That's fucking crazy. Some of these legendary fusions are fucking awesome too. Like you don't expect it and you just get one. Although to be fair, I got something that was a kill a kill reference. And that wasn't even a, re a legendary, that was just Scizor. Was that Scizor plus Honedge or something? Kinda funny. I can buy Pokeballs, nice. Attain the legendary sword. And you can catch more. Come on, where is this fucking Magnemite? I wish the Pokedex would at least tell you what, uh, what time of day it spawns or something. At this stage, I'm just gonna have to sit here until it shows up, I guess. Ma'am Cargo. Ma'am, what's in that cargo? Ma'am, what is in your cargo? Ma'am, does your cargo? You can buy balls and super potions. That's just lucky. Super potion, you know what? It might be more expensive, but it's also, if you pull rando items, then that's really all the healing you can get for a while. Until you can find another way to either like exploit from grinding or whatever. Find another shop with better healing, but that's unlikely if it's Super Potion. Alright. I don't think Magnemite's gonna show up. It's just so unlikely. There's no water over here. That's weird. Hmm. And I guess I could turn back around and enter through the main zone. It seems like it's just one of those... 
weaker Pokemon that likes to spawn towards the entrance. So if that's the case, fair, like, cool and good. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> Did what? Feels like I'm trapped in this dungeon. The shadow tag doesn't help, or arena trap, whatever. Get out of there, nose trio. I'm gonna fucking lose it. There's not a single Magnemite. I, I, I abhor this Pokemon now. I don't even want it at all. <laughs> yeah, the water level reset. I don't know what happened. That's so fucking weird. At first I was assuming like just over there you don't have water, but no, like it fucked up. <laughs> For the dev, you know, we gotta give them credit, but like, goddamn. This same dungeon too, you can just walk all the way off screen. I remember discovering that. You can just like walk on the water. I got Lugia now, this is the run. I wanna see what Lugia plus Ho-Oh makes. I felt like I was so close to getting that, but then I didn't actually get it. Okay, fuck this. It's too much. <laughs> I went up and down the ladder so fast. This is the run. Even just like them fused into whatever is really good. I think Lugia plus Ho oh, is probably a mistake. Alright, I turn around. Nose trio. I'm legit gonna get level 51 out of this. This is so silly. Every time I'm forced into combat, help. Doesn't want to be here. Magnemite doesn't want to be in the stinky sewer level. Okay, I exit here and then I go this away. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I guess the sewer will reset regardless. Probably just depends on which way you enter. Okay, so does this thing only show up early day or something? I have three Pokemon with two of them being legendary and one pseudo-legendary. Now that's a feels good man. That's a feels good man. Galvantula plus Suicune. I always forget about this. It just looks very silly. Looks like its own thing. Yeah. This thing ain't showing up until daytime. For whatever reason. I'm gonna go sit at the inn for 6 to 12 hours, I guess. 70k! Sleep for 12 hours, whatever. Get on out of there. Ash Ketchup, get out of there. Alright, cut it down. Shut it down. Shut her down. Okay, where is the Magnemite? The likelihood of it spawning is lower. There's Ginch. If I see Ginch, I know Magnemite's in town. The boys are back in town. Come on, come on. Don't even need this or want it. Maybe it'll fuse into something good if I get Magnezone. The fact of the matter is this thing just won't show up to the party. At least we have Ginch. At least we got Ginch. Ginch and Kyoth. Already have Kyoth. Speaking of fusing two legendaries together, I already have Ho-Oh and Kyogre potentially. Come the fuck on, are you kidding me? It's 4 p.m. now. Magnemite sucks. This thing fucking sucks. This thing fucking sucks. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That thing can fuck off. Not only will it only show up in the double battles, but it also just hates reality. It won't be part of the team. 
It would rather die in like obscurity. Fine. I'm just gonna pretend that Pokemon doesn't exist. I think it's better off that way. Wait, what was this? It's four Seedra fins and another Rocky helmet. There's another like 20k. I was saying it was 4 p.m. in game. Like, no matter what time of day the thing spawns, I felt like I elapsed enough time that it wasn't gonna spawn. So I was like, well, them's the breaks, I guess. All right, what's our route catch for this area then? You found the pizza. Mm. Immediately have battles, but I also can catch. So what is it? <laughs> Teddy choke. I kind of like it. It's kind of silly as fuck though, too. All right. I only have eight Pokeballs. Come on. Well, I guess Teddy Choke is better than nothing. Play nice. Throw Ryu out there. I'm gonna go in 30 minutes because I need to sleep. I'm actually gonna go offline in a couple minutes here. Thank you for watching. Yeah, the Rocky Helmet seems to be doing the thing here. I can't really do anything else though. I just gotta keep switching them out. Sweet scent. Smells sweet. And Hitmonchan Magikarp. Jeez. Oh, well, Gyarados Hitmonchan, maybe. The Dragon Fighter. Yeah, that's Garo. That's One Punch Man Garo. The Dragon Fighter. I keep switching out and he won't punch. He's just smelling good. Teddy Choke just smells good. Okay, just like a giant fighting bear with four arms. I'll gladly take that shit. Alright, now we throw Pokeballs. I don't care if it's moon balls. Give me that thing. Give me that thing. Alright. Random Yu-Gi-Oh card generator. What are we gonna get? Get Dark Magician Exile of the Wicked. Flame Swordsman Grave Robber. Teddy Choke's data was added. Super power bear. It licks its palms because th that are sweetened by it being soaked in honey. Because it is so dangerous, no one has ever removed the belt. He's uncontested. Exile? I don't know. Right leg of the forbidden one. Tiger Axe. Doll of Demise. And Soul Roots. Demise. Demise. I think, don't I already have Demise? Whatever. Want Aegislash? Can you give me Dust Stone, please? I wish. I'm sure there's a way to, like, specifically trade with players, but the only time I've done it is with Wonder Trade. I don't know how it works. Alright, we go ahead and heal up. And the box is actually looking pretty healthy. We got a lot of good Pokemon stored up in there. Almost a level 30 there. Let me see that. Where'd you go, man? Where's my bear? Where's my bear? Demise. No guard. Let's go. Uh, Teddy Ursa ain't the best. But I think I will swap this just right now. And maybe, maybe we could fuse Dra Dragonair into this and still keep no guard, but I doubt it. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for enjoying some Pokemon Randomizer with me. Pokemon Infinite Fusion Randomizer Nuzlocke. It's been a blast. I'm going to go now, though. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you had as much of a blast as I did. I hope it was fun to watch. And yeah, I'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace out. Peace out.